I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. Someone requested that I do a video on beginner friendly plants. So this is my top six list of easy to care for plants. I'm gonna be recommending six plants that I think are perfect if you're a beginner plant parent or someone who's looking into getting a plant. These are gonna be six very easy plants to care for and look after as a beginner. So we're gonna start with my favorite <laughs> and that is this Monstera Deliciosa. This plant made me fall in love with plants even further. She is just the easiest plant to look after. Look at all of the beautiful fenestrations. She is adaptable to most light conditions, very low maintenance. I literally only water her once a week in the winter time and then sometimes more often in the summertime and springtime because she's getting a lot more light and the water requirements changes a little bit but honestly it is just such a low maintenance plant it's a tropical plant so it's so beautiful that this tropical plant could be so low maintenance compared to my other plants which are also tropical and are like the most high maintenance divas ever it's just so refreshing to have monsteras who drink water mind their business and thrive another plant i recommend is the snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue it is a great plant to purify the air and it's also very 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 low maintenance it does well in pretty much any kind of light from low light to full-on bright sun water her like every two weeks or twice a month and she would flourish i think it's a great plant to add to any space to just purify the air and beautify and add a little bit of green to any corner of your house so i definitely recommend it. but do know that it's a very slow grower you're not going to see an insane amount of growth from a snake plant as you would from a monstera monsteras are very fast growers so if you're one of those people who are really into the satisfaction of watching leaves unfurl and plants get new leaves then i would suggest you go with the monster next up is a zizi plant or beauty of zanzibar i love this plant she's also very low maintenance and you only have to water the plant like every two weeks or so she's also a very slow grower so don't expect to be seeing new growth constantly it requires very little water and it actually prefers to be kept on the dry side also great for neglecting and forgetting about you can get away with watering a zizi plant like every two Three weeks honestly so perfect for beginners I also noticed that mine loves humidity ever since I moved my plant over to my desk right by the humidifier she has gotten a ton of new spares so you can see that this is new this is also new and this little one here is also new as well as this one I wasn't seeing much growth honestly until I moved her over to the humidifier and ever since she's gotten all of this new growth so that's a tip out there if your ZZ plant is also not doing what it's supposed to <laughs> and growing, definitely look into making sure you put it by a humidifier. Philodendrons are also very beginner friendly plants. I think that is the fastest growing plant that I own and anytime I repot it, it's incredible how fast it just triples in size in a matter of weeks. So I would definitely recommend it for those who like to get satisfaction from seeing new growth constantly. She's also very low maintenance and she does like a lot of water. I always water her twice a week, especially in the summertime. Dracaenas are also pretty beginner friendly. They don't require too much watering. They're actually drought tolerant, so they prefer to have their soil extremely dry. I water mine like once a month. I don't think she's the fastest grower, but pretty low maintenance for sure, especially if you're someone who's always on the go, always traveling. I think this would be the perfect plan for you because once a month and she's good. She thrives in low to medium light conditions. I left the very, very, very easiest for last and that is the pothos. I just love that you can neglect them and they're still just gonna thrive and grow. It is very easy to propagate. I feel like it is the number one plant that 
people should buy when you're really just getting into plants because of just how easy you can multiply one pothos into several other plants my pothos i'm looking at her right now that's why i keep looking up <laughs> looking up at the mother pothos that i own this is where all of my pothos have come from i trim her all the time to make water propagations and other soil propagations to gift them to other people to just have more plants and out of this one mother plant i've gotten more than 10 plants i kid you not it's the easiest indoor plant to grow and it just requires bright and direct light it is such a fast grower so again if you enjoy the satisfaction of seeing things grow progressively you definitely get apostles they cascade down but you can also use sticks to prop them up and make sure like they're climbing a wall or something if that's what you're looking for i highly recommend pothos and there are different variations of pothos there are silver pothos golden pothos i own a golden i do at some point want to get a silver pothos i've been wanting one for a very long time lastly i'm going to give some general tips when you're watering plants you want to make sure that the soil is dry so what you do is you insert a finger about two inches into the soil to see if the soil is moist or dry and that's how you gauge when to water your plant next if you don't think you are the best at that or you don't want to get your fingers dirty you shouldn't watch this video then because this is about plants and they require dirt and soil you can also use a thermometer this is a light moisture and ph thermometer you basically stick this into the soil and it'll tell you how moisturized the soil is if it's dry moist or wet i got this from amazon i'll link it down below in case this is helpful to anybody out there but if you don't want to get this just put a finger into the soil up to two inches down and then from there you can tell if the plant needs to be watered or not. Another tip is do not buy a plant without doing research on the plants first, especially for plants that aren't beginner friendly. I have gotten messages from people who have said, oh, you inspired me to get a plant, but it'll be a tropical plant that's like for advanced people. So then I get messages from people freaking out like, oh my gosh, what do I do with my plant? <laughs> For the plants I mentioned in this video, you should be good to go no matter what kind of lighting conditions you have because the ones I mentioned are pretty much adaptable to most light conditions. But when it comes to buying plants that you think are just pretty, don't do it y'all. Some of them have a lot of needs and depending on your lifestyle, you won't be able to sustain the plant. So you might just end up spending your money on a plant that might die on you. So definitely do your research. Use the compass on your phone to see what kind of facing window you have. For instance, if I pull up my compass here and point towards my window, it tells me that these are northeastern facing windows. So if I'm buying a specific tropical plant, but I think I want to go by this window. I'm going to make sure that that plant is okay with northeastern facing windows. Otherwise, my plant is going to die. You can be doing absolutely everything right. And if you don't have the right type of lighting for your plant, your plant will simply not thrive. So you have to follow specific watering schedules. You need to have certain light and humidity conditions. Like you can't just be buying a plant because it looks pretty. So please, y'all, do your research and make sure that you have the right lighting and the right tools. To properly care for the plants that you are buying but again the ones that i mentioned in this video are pretty beginner friendly you don't need much knowledge on plants to know how to care for them and look after them these are beginner friendly enough to not have to worry about your lighting conditions and all that but when it comes to buying other tropical pretty looking plants you need to ensure you have the right condition for it to thrive anyways those are my two main tips Please leave any more questions you have down below and I'm happy to answer them in the comments. Stay tuned for my other videos. I'm constantly sharing my plans and my weekly vlogs and their progress. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for more plant content. I love plants. Plants just bring us so much happiness and they're just so grounding, so beautiful to look at. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it taught you a little something about plants and maybe inspired you to get a house plant and add some greenery into your space. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.